good day guys it's peter and only behind the camera together we are two hungry diners well guys welcome back to our very first brunch review in 2022 today we are in hoton and we are reviewing this cafe called four kilo fish this is yunnan inspired brunch cafe this is one of the highest rated new cafe here in hoton we are excited to show you guys around because we believe not many people in Melbourne know about this cafe unless you are local or you live nearby. And we heard the food is good and we heard the coffee and tea is also very, very good. If you haven't already guys, please subscribe to our awesome, awesome YouTube channel for more travel and food video. And yes, let's go. Let's check out this cafe. While in this cafe, you guys have to try their single origin series Be it the tea, coffee, and the filter coffee Today we've got this uh, Tian Yu single espresso uh, The bean is from Yunnan And this is the third year uh, for Kilo Fish working directly with the producer in Yunnan So yes, you can read the whole history here When you order the single origin series uh, They give you like a card and the story behind it and yeah, this is Tian Yu coffee beans. I'm supposed to taste the uh, stone fruits, uh, sherry, and red wine. So let's try. Uh, this is latte, by the way. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I can definitely taste like a hint of that sherry and red wine. It's not bitter at all. It's it's almost on the sweeter side of. Of, of coffee, I mean, no bitterness at all. Wow, I really like it. I mean, <laughs> it's amazing, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it's definitely sweet. And yes, that cherry fruits, definitely there, 100%. All right, guys, for me, I've ordered the house exclusive tea. So they also passionate about tea, not only coffee. So the tea is also from Yunnan, sourced from Yunnan, and this is the aged fermented fuer. So one of the, I think their most popular tea from this cafe. And look at the presentation, guys. Super cute, really love it. I love this uh, little jug here, and we can pour to this little mug here. I'm not an expert in tea, but I really like drinking tea. So I think I'm supposed to smell it first. Oh, it's a type of black tea for sure, it's not green tea. And basically this is 11 year old fully fermented poor tea. Mm, I can feel the some kind of retro Chinese tea. I mean, the Chinese tea you normally get from old Chinese restaurants. That's the kind of taste and feel that I get from this tea. Yeah, you can definitely taste like the fermentations of the tea leaves, but I, I cannot describe like the tasting note at all. It's not very strong, to, for sure, yeah, it's not very strong black tea, but yeah, this is like reminds me of that tea in Chinese restaurant. Maybe even in like Yam Cha in the morning, right? Oh yes. Yes, Yam Cha restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This cafe is a Yunnan inspired cafe. So all the food and drinks are inspired from Yunnan. Um, but they also specialize in sandos. So it's kind of like Yunnan Japanese inspired sando <laughs> with Yunnan twist in the flavoring and the seasoning as well. Uh, this one I think is a must have. We tried this before uh, for takeaway during last year lockdowns and it was amazing. It contains the Angus beef minch uh, with Yunnan style sauce. I think they have QP mayo and tomato sauce, coriander, and something else, secret ingredients. The bread is very fluffy, very toasty, mm, and buttery. Mm. 
Okay, the flavor profile of this sando it reminds me of burger because of the beef, the mayo, and the tomato sauce. So I guess it's a it's a perfect choice if you want to have a light burger breakfast. <laughs> The bread is so fluffy, very toasty, buttery, mm. and the minced meat, amazing. I really love all the combination of ingredients, the sauce, the meat, the bread. Oh, must try, guys. We try a lot of sandos in Melbourne, and I think this sando is one of the best you can find in Melbourne. They also sell the uh, Japanese katsu sando, the pork katsu sando and I heard it is also super good. Mm. Next time we try that. <laughs> For me, I order the green benedicts. Yes, this is 4 kilo fish inspired um, egg benedicts. Uh, they have the matcha hollandaise, uh, which is like dark green color and um, two free range eggs and Taiwanese style pulled pork and some toasted pineapple. I can see all the ingredients in there and yes, this is not your usual egg benedict. The bread they use is the ciabatta rolls. Actually, let me try the, the egg first, right? See if there's perfect one. Oh, <laughs> perfect guys. Okay, let's dig in guys. <laughs> I really like all the combo but for me it's probably on the sweeter side because you've got like the sweetness from the pineapple and the pulled pork itself is a little bit on the sweeter side as well so yes you get a little bit of hint of savoriness but more on the sweeter side everything on this plate is cooked really well the pulled pork is amazing juicy and tender and the egg is, is cooked perfectly as well uh, the chia butter roll is um, is toasted really really well as well, and yes, I am a huge fan of pineapple, and I I like that sweetness that I've got from that pineapple as well. So huge huge fan. I wanna try the matcha hollandaise. Um, let me try if it has like that strong matcha hint. Mmm yeah. A little bit bitter because of that matcha. I like it. Yeah. I'm also a fan of matcha, so don't really mind at all. It's a good combo. As for our tradition reviewing brunch cafes in Melbourne, we always gotta try their sweet options or the dessert options. So on the menu, there are only two options, which is the overnight oats and this ricotta pancake. So of course, I think this is a better option for us. Uh, it comes really hot, I think, uh, when I touch the plate. The pancake is still hot. On the menu it says, this is hot ricotta pancakes with candied orange, mixed berry coolie, vanilla ice cream, cinnamon infused orange syrup, and fresh fruits. Sounds amazing already. Can't wait to try. Bit of ice cream and the strawberry coolie. To be honest, when I look at the pancakes, that reminds me of the pancakes I always make at home because it's very rustic, very homemade style. But the taste, the taste that what makes it different than your usual homemade uh, pancakes because of, I think it, of course it's using ricotta and it's very special, it's, it's crispy on the uh, surface, right, on the outer layer, but it's super fluffy on the inside. It, and the taste, I think it tastes amazing to me. <laughs> we love this pancake. Let's see if this is better than Oni's homemade pancake. <laughs> mm, love the flavor that I've got from ricotta cheese. And well, if you, if you get the candied orange, and it's, it's really nice. I mean, it's candied really perfectly. It's a little bit of like a sweet as well. Is it better than my pancakes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so fluffy though. Yeah, it's so yeah. fluffy. I know. 
I never used tricota before mm. in my pancakes. You have to try it. Mm. Really nice. Anyway, guys, that concludes our review of this uh, Yunnan inspired cafe for kilo fist in Porton. And overall, it's an amazing experience. Love the service, the staff are very, very friendly and accommodating. The food is super good, super yummy. Highly recommend you guys to try the sando. The coffee and tea are also must have in here. Definitely very unique. I have, we haven't found any cafes uh, using Yunnan coffee and tea before, so definitely must try. I hope you guys find this video useful for your next. Uh, brunch visit inspirations <laughs> in Melbourne and highly recommend it and see you guys in the next video stay foolish stay hungry bye